We have been counting down for this day for so long and it's finally here. We have thousands of girls across Canada and hundreds of schools across Canada all moving together as part of the Hacker Gal movement. You've been learning text-based code. That means you've been learning the real thing. Beyond pictures, beyond blocks, you're learning what it takes to be a computer scientist. Uh, today I'm doing the hackathon as a hacker girl on Lynx. It is a hacker gal movement where girls across Canada code together at the same time. So they've been working really hard in their schools from coast to coast and this is a cumulative event where they get to apply their knowledge and their coding skills to a hackathon where they code all day from morning till the end of the school day uh, connected to a social impact theme. Um, now as I enter this, watch what happens. She's gonna keep moving forward eventually. All I did was I put in the repeat command, repeat it 10 times, forward 20, and then wait one second. I like the way you can just write out a thing, enter it, and the computer will like take these words that you've written and it'll turn it into like a whole scene. And I love putting that sort of thing together. It's just like magic. Yeah. So leading up to today, the teachers have been introducing text-based coding to their students and then they've been practicing. So they'll either have clubs uh, where girls are coding, they'll do it at lunchtime. We meet uh, once or twice a week and they uh, set up all these lessons for us and the girls work through them so they learn different coding and different sequences so that they can set up gaming, websites, and those kinds of things. Coding where you have to actually write commands is a lot harder than I thought, but it's like getting easier. I was a little confused on how the code worked, but in like a week or so, I was laughing at the things that I could make. I felt surprised that I actually made it. I felt sad that I made it. It's really interesting and uh, someday I want to create my own game. Our research shows that girls' resilience in coding and with computer science will increase if they learn in a fun, supportive way. So we think it's so important that girls are learning in a space that is carved out for them where they can be coding in their classrooms but also part of a movement where they know there are hundreds and thousands of girls doing this together. It was like a place where I could connect with similar girls like me that had like the same passion and talent. There are a lot of men and computer science and we need more women. It can also make us realize what we are capable of now and what we can create. I thought it would be fun and I did hang out with my friends in code. So the live video call is one of the highlights of the hackathon. It's when we connect all of the hundreds of schools from across Canada at the same time to be able to show girls that you may have been coding in different different communities all over the country, but we're all doing it together and you're connected with hundreds of other girls in Canada. I think it's just a fantastic program. I highly recommend it to anybody to promote it in their schools. Hacker Gal is federally funded by the government's CanCode program, so all of our resources are free of charge for schools and for teachers. Our next hackathon is going to be in May 2020. Uh, we'd love for you to go to our website, reach out, connect with us, and we'll tell you how it could look and work with you to make it happen at your school. Hacker Girls is a lot of fun. It was just awesome. I'm going to try and do it for as long as I can.